Star, good to see you. Hope all is well. Um, yeah. I, I guess let's just start by by going back a bit. And uh, could you give us your reasoning for why you chose to opt out last season? Yeah. Um, pretty much with all the uncertainty that was going around at that time, not knowing exactly what, what was going to happen and what protocols were going to be, I felt like the best decision for myself and my, my wife and my kids was what I decided to do. So that was it. And our first looks at you, uh, you appear thinner. Where are you like physically <laughs> and, and with the game uh, after being away for a year? Yeah, um, I'm a little lighter, um, about 300, 305. Um, not too far off of what I am during the season, uh, but I always start off a little bit lighter because I always gain weight throughout the season. So, I mean, it's, it's nothing new to me. Um, as far as practice today, felt good. Um, so just happy to be back. And just for reference, where do you usually play at yeah around uh 307 I'm sorry. 310 307 to 310 that's usually where my playing weight is now okay so you're only about five pounds off where yeah you're yeah cool. not too far all right nice nice to see you again you too hey star good seeing you john warrell how you doing good good um not not to say at all that you had any regrets about your decision because it was a very personal one and an important one was it difficult at times, though, to be watching the team, you know, from afar, um, you know, just just a, a, from, from a competitive uh, from your competitive nature? Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I, I didn't watch every game just because, you know, it was a little tough, um, especially that last game. Um, but, you know, this, I was happy because the team was doing so well. Um, the success that they had last year was was great. Um, it, it was it, it was a bummer not to be a part of it. Um, but again, like, I made the decision. I don't regret it, um, but, you know, I was happy for the guys and I, I, I was hoping they would have get, got it done, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm back now and we'll see what happens this year. I, I guess I'm wondering maybe that uh, Arizona, the end of the Arizona game is something you might've clicked off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, I, everybody, I didn't, I actually didn't tune into that one, but my, everybody was sending me, did you see that? Did you see that? And then uh, actually Jordan Phillips, Jordan Phillips was at Arizona. He's like, are you watching the game? And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, Did you, and then he told me about it. And I saw it turned on the TV. It was all over the highlights and all that. But, you know, it was, it was a hard-fought game. That was in the house of great players. So. No, I, I, I get that. And, and finally, what, what, how, how difficult was it at the times that you did turn on the TV set, especially come January, you know, when, they, when the Colts came to town and you saw the, the crowd in the stands and, and, and the fans in the stands and, and Baltimore? And how, how, right. how much did you really have to, you know, bring up a nerve to, 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 to turn those games on? Yeah, it's, it was tough. Like I said, it was tough, especially because of the, the kind of camaraderie and how close we are as a group, as, as players, as a team. Uh, it was tough to see the guys out there and me not be able to have any impact on on the game and and, and um, you know help my guys out. But like I said, I was happy for the outcome that they had last year um, and looking forward to this season. Good seeing you, Star. Appreciate it. Starla Tule, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports, and Andy, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. And, uh, you know, the Bills have been wishing on a star all year long. So <laughs> just tell us a little bit about uh, <laughs> just tell us a little bit about, you know, your time away, you know, away from football. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was just a whole lot of being dad. Um, I got four kids, being a husband and a father. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, having that time away uh, helped physically, mentally. Um, even though it was unfortunate that I couldn't be here for the guys. Um, you know, I, like I said, I don't regret my decision. I made it based on what I felt was the right decision for myself, for my wife and my kids. So, you know, I was enjoying being, being a husband and being a father, but it does feel good. It felt great to be, be back this, uh, today and be out there with the guys, with the D-line, some of the young guys, and see, see some of the older guys too, some of the guys from Carolina. So we got a good mix here, and, you know, I'm excited. Care to talk a little bit about those new guys you have up front with you, and, and how happy was Ed Oliver to see you back? <laughs> yeah, Ed was one of the guys who ran up to me, gave me a big hug, um, you know, Love Ed. He's a he's a little feisty dude, but um, uh, love the way he plays. He, uh, he's been great since he's been here. Um, you know, getting to meet some of the rookies that we picked up, um, some of the guys that we picked up in free agency, and again, some of the guys from um, Carolina too that I hadn't seen in a long time. Rio and, and Burn, and now um, uh, FA FA. So now FA 
So it's good. You know, I mean, like I said, I'm with Coach Wash again. Um, so it, it, it feels good, man. It, it, it feels right. So what's the number one goal for you just getting back in the swing of things? Yeah, pretty much that, man. Trying to get acclimated, um, get back into the swing of being football, you know, meetings every day, um, football being, getting back to football being life, you know, um, having to kind of put my family on, on the, on, you know, kind of on the back burner, but, um, you know, that's the sacrifice we make in this, in this league. So, um, but I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to, to be back. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. I had a good time this, uh, this practice. We just got done with, so it was good. Welcome back to football style. Enjoy, Ken. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, starts Marcel Louis Jacques from ESPN. I'm, I'm driving, so I can't turn my camera on. How are you yeah. doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm curious. What all were What all were you allowed to do as far as contact with the team uh, during this this year away? Uh, like, if meetings were virtual during the offseason, were you allowed to, or not during the offseason? If meetings were virtual, were you ever allowed to tap in? Um, could you, you know, speak with coaches and teammates? Or how did, what did that look like? Yeah, pretty much all my, my communication with teammates and coaches was just through text. Um, I, I talked to a few guys on the phone, but nothing as far as like being involved with meetings or anything like that. Um, so pretty much everything I had was just texting the guys, you know, trying to encourage them throughout the season, having them, you know, there were some tough stretches throughout the season, but, you know, just talking to some of the guys and um, just getting, just trying to get a feel where their head was at, seeing if I can help out in any way. But that was pretty much it. Gotcha. When when you when you told the team your decision to to opt out, was there like a plan in place? Did they tell you, okay, like this is what you know we we would like you to to work on to do in, in spare time, or, or or what was the what was that communication like? You know, not so much. It was, it was when I when I when I had made my decision. Um, they they were supportive. The team was supportive. Um, you know, they just expected me to be a pro, um, to keep myself in shape, and to be ready when. When time came, so that's that's exactly what I did. Uh, you know, I did take some time away and just to to step away and be with the wife and kids. But then I got back into it. Um, you know, to prepare myself to be back um, today. So that was pretty much it. Gotcha. I wouldn't expect anything less. And uh, sorry for the onslaught of questions here. It's my last one for you. But uh, you said you you know you, you tried to encourage your teammates whenever you could throughout those tough stretches. Were there any yeah. exchanges that? stand out to you when you think back about the past 12 months? Um, you know, just talking to guys like po, uh, Poyer, Micah, um, Jerry, um, Trent, who isn't here anymore. Um, just, some, you know, the guys that you, you build that relationship with, um, you know, and, you know, sometimes the media gets goes down hard on the team. And it's just, you know, it's just me trying to give them, from what I saw, trying to help them out, see if that could do anything to help them out. And then just, you know, like I said earlier, just getting a feel for where their head was at and then just trying to be supportive. Really, that's all I, I could really do, um, not being able to be there physically. Gotcha. So it was just, just telling guys not to listen to us. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Either way, man, good to see you back. Glad uh, you and your family stayed safe throughout the last year. And yes, uh, sir. I just wish you well. Appreciate it. Yes, uh, good afternoon, sir. George Redney, Challenge the Community News. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Pretty good. And I was wondering, when, when you're all being a dad and with the family, did, was there any time where you said, well, man, this is pretty nice. Maybe I might, you know, <laughs> it might be a time to call it a day and uh, and and, uh, and, get, and, and uh, work out every now and then. But uh, yeah. when did you make up your mind and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm coming back next season. You know, I'm going to, or when did you start working out as well to get yourself mentally and physically ready for, for camp? Yeah, I'm, I might have took maybe a uh, three to four weeks off, and then after that, just I've been working out, lifting, running ever since. Um, I enjoyed it, but my wife wasn't so you know into the whole idea as, as much as I was. You know, she was getting sick of me, so you know that's when I found out. I, I mean, my wife isn't ready for me to, to call it yet, so you know I, I was ready to come back. So as soon as that, you know, I saw all that. It, it was great. You know, I got to see my kids play sports, something that I haven't been able to do in a long time since I've been in the league. You know, I got to be around the house a lot more, get them ready. Um, so it was, that was good. It was all good. Um, but I knew when I was watching the team and when I watched last season that I wasn't done. So, I, I, like I said earlier, I'm happy to be back. Practice felt great today um, to be out with the guys again. So, Great. Look forward to seeing those kids. They grow up so fast, too, and get so big Absolutely. so quickly. So, hey, enjoy Absolutely. as much time as you can with them, and uh, good luck this upcoming season.
Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Star, you and Eric Washington overlapped for five seasons, I want to say, in Carolina. Yep. So what does it mean to be back with him, especially after taking a year off of football? How does that maybe help you even more going back to a defensive line coach you're so familiar with? Yeah, it feels great. A lot of comfort, um, you know, knowing him, him knowing me, knowing I can trust him. Um, no, I, I don't think there's a more perfect guy that I could have to kind of get me reacclimated back into the system, back into the football schedule, things like that. So I'm, I'm happy. I couldn't ask for anybody better. And then we got Jock too. So it's great. You got any good Eric Washington stories that stick out in your mind? Uh, I'd have to think about it. I mean, it's been a long time, but you know, he, I mean, he's just such a great guy. He's a great coach. Um, he's, he's meant a lot to me throughout my career. So, you know, I'd have to think about it. There's, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't think of one right off the top of my head, but maybe, maybe ask me in a couple, couple weeks. All right. Sounds good. I'll revisit it. Thanks, Star. All right. Yep. Hey, Star, Matt Fern from The Athletic here. Um, I know you mentioned your wife was probably ready to, to get rid of you with you being around the house so much, but what did your, what did your kids think of, of having you home while football season was going on? Yeah, man, I got, um, you know, I got a, I got like, a, I got a teenager who's close to close to being a teenager now. So um, she, she was pretty, pretty similar with my wife, you know, trying to, <laughs> there, she was ready to get dad out the house, but you know, my, my younger three, I'm sure they're, you know, they're, they're pretty young. So they didn't really understand the whole thing thing of me not did you know being at football and being away all the time so kind of got a mix between the two and you know it was still good man I still enjoyed it I loved it so it was good awesome uh, what did what was your impression when you did watch games uh of Ed Oliver's second season and um what were your impressions of him today um you know being back in the building I know you said he was pretty excited to see you yeah man I, uh Ed I thought he I thought he played well last year you know he he um he was dealing with a lot more double teams than he did his rookie year, but I feel like he played well. He, he's oh, he always plays hard. That's one thing you know that you're going to get from Ed. He goes 100 percent every time he's on the field. So I love watching Ed play. He's, he's like a missile out there. Um, so I thought he played well, um, and it's good to be back with him. It's good to have. He's like I said, we got a really good group of guys in that room. Um, good mix of vets, um, middle middle guys, and then real young guys, rookies that we just picked up. So. Um, it's a real good mix, and um, yeah, it, it, I, I think Ed's going to have another good year. So it, it's, it's just been good to be back. Awesome, thanks, Star. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Star Sal Capaccio, WGR here. Good to see you back. Good to talk to yeah. you again. Yes, sir. Hey, um, it, it, I know that there could be possibly opt outs again this year. Have you decided, even if that's the case, have you not crossed that bridge yet? If the PA and the league uh, do negotiate that there would be opt outs in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm playing this year. Um, decision's been made already, so I'll be at training camp, ready to go. I'll, I'll be there. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, Star. Um, I just had John Worrell once again. I just couldn't help but notice that for a guy who's known, even Josh talked about, for a guy who says two words during the course of a season – you are very excited, almost refreshed, and 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 really, talk, you can see it in your face and in your answers. Just, just um, has there been a change, or are we seeing a new star? <laughs> um, no, man. You guys just don't talk to me a whole lot, so I think this is like the first time you guys actually get to see who I am. But no, nah, it's just it's, like I said, it's just good to be back. It was good to be out there and running around with the guys. I'm just happy to be back. That's all. Good for you. Thank you. Yep. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Star. Yep.